Hello my creative friends, this is Heather North from heatherscreativeblessings.com. I am working on some customer thank you cards for customers who place Stampin' Up! orders with me over the summer. I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is four and a half inches by three inches. And I'm going to be using the stamp set called Seasonally Scattered. As soon as I saw this in the holiday catalog, I knew I had to have it, and I'd be making thank you notes for you guys with it. Um, I, it's rather large, larger than I expected, so I mounted it on my stamp press. And then I took my embossing buddy, rubbed it over my Whisper White cardstock to remove any static. Now I'm using Versamark to ink up that stamp. With the Fisker stamp press, I can see exactly where I am stamping, and I use the lines of my grid mat to line up my paper, and then I line up my stamp press on those grid lines as well, and that helps me to get it stamped straight and right where I want it to go. I'm going to just use a piece of scrap paper to catch any of the excess gold embossing powder. I just sprinkle it right over that stamped image, and then shake it off. You can add a little bit more if something got missed. And then I flick the back to just get any excess embossing powder off. And I can just get the embossing powder right back in my jar. Save it for next time. Now comes the magic part. I'm going to take my heat gun and I am going to just put it on the highest setting, warm it up a little bit, and then take it right to my paper and melt that gold embossing powder. You can see it melt, and as it melts, you just move your gun and melt the rest of it. This stamp set is beautiful just on its own, stamped or embossed, but I thought it might be kind of fun to add some color. So I have here Hello Honey and a sponge, and I'm just going to sponge the middle oops, <laughs> with Hello Honey. Next, I'm going to use Mossy Meadows. It's another in color that just came out this year. Um, all three of these colors are actually in colors. And I'll take that Mossy Meadow and do the last third in that color. You can see me priming up my ink. Oh, no. Oops. I meant to add in a little more yellow, and I stuck my sponge right into that mossy meadow. Oh, I was priming up my sponges um, on the grid mat because I hadn't sponged with them before, and I just want to get the, the sponges saturated with that color. You'll see me. I just went on to see if I could salvage it, and it's not too bad, but I'm going to go ahead and do another one and make it the way that I had intended after I kind of cleaned up my sponges here. All right, round two. I left in the boo-boo just to let you know that even experienced stampers make mistakes, and I make them all the time. So I'm going in again with my Hello Honey, and I am dabbing it onto my grid mat, making sure I have the right color. And then my Mossy Meadow. And finally, coming in with the scrumptious Blackberry Bliss. I like this color when it's stamped full on, but I love this color when it's second and third generation, or when you do what I'm doing here now, and that is sponging it, because it's a lighter shade of that purple. Now I'm just going to take a napkin or a tissue and wipe off any ink that might be on that embossed image. And you can see when the light hits it just how pretty that gold is. To save myself some time, I'm using Whisper White note cards. They come with a note card and matching envelope, and they come in Whisper White, and they now are available in Crumb Cake as well. Here you see me auditioning different in-color card stocks just to see which one I'm going to like the best. The first one was Hello Honey and then Tangelo Twist with the orange, now Mossy Meadows. And last is Blackberry Bliss. One of the things I find most difficult about card making 
is all the decisions to be made. So the decision I made here was just to use one of each. <laughs> so each card will be a little bit different. I'm using Fast Fuse to adhere my um, pieces together. Stampin' Up's Fast Fuse is a very strong adhesive. To use it, you just pull it towards you and then flick it to the side. So pull, flick, pull, flick. You need to flick it or it will just pull that string off like you saw there maybe in the video. I'm doing my best to make sure that the white space around the outside is even on all four sides and then I'll stick it down. And that is my thank you card for this month. Be sure to come back next week and see another card that I created. Here's a sneak peek of it using the same stamp set. And here is another sneak peek of my design team card for this week's challenge over at Stamp Nation. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you find some time today to get a little bit creative. Bye!